If you can't find a particular command or option when you're working down here, it's probably on the ribbon. As you've seen, the commands on the ribbon change depending on what area you're working in. Mail, Calendar, People, or Tasks. And whether you're composing an email, a meeting or an appointment, or editing a contact, or a task. Let's start with the Home tab. This tab contains a combination of the most popular commands, like New Items. You can also move items and manage rules. On the Send Receive tab, you can initiate Send Receive or change download preferences. On the Folder tab, you can manage your archive settings and folder properties. The View tab, as you've already seen, has options for modifying your workspace. Click here to turn on Conversation View. You'll see the same sorts of commands in Calendar, except they're geared toward things like changing your calendar view. You can also share a calendar or publish it online for others to see. In People, the ribbon has commands for organizing your contacts. For example, you can create contact groups, which used to be called distribution lists, or change how you view your contact list. In Tasks, the ribbon has commands for managing tasks, many of which are also available when you right click an item. There's another kind of tab that appears only when you're doing certain things, like replying to an email in the reading pane. In this case, you can use the Compose Tools Message tab to format the text or attach a file. After you send the email, the tab goes away. When you're composing or editing an item, you have commands to help you insert and format elements. For example, a meeting form has a meeting tab, where you can open the scheduling assistant to help you add attendees. And a contact form has a contact tab, where you can access the address book to help you fill out the form. They all have a tab for inserting things, like a table, or a business card. and a tab for formatting text. For example, you can compose some very professional looking emails by using styles. The message form also has an options tab, where you can add the BCC line and voting buttons. This is also where you can request delivery and read receipts. And all the forms have a review tab, which is where you go to check spelling. So now you have a pretty good idea where everything is in Outlook 2013. But before you get started, you may be wondering what happened to your old email. Up next, we'll import our old data files.